Switch on your deep breathing. And place both hands over the heart. And take a few deep breaths to connect with what's present for you in your heart this evening. Feel the rise and fall of the chest. Maybe feel your heartbeat. Intent for practice this evening is to breathe into and open the heart. And when you breathe into the heart, do it from a place of kindness, of compassion. of love and use even more of your hands, the healing power of your own touch to transmit that sensation of compassion, of kindness, of softness into the heart space. Because when life happens to us, we have a tendency to close down around the heart to protect ourselves. If it calls you this evening, use this practice to go into the heart, to open, to soften the edges of the heart. Because to heal the heart, to walk through life with an open heart is the warrior's path. Five deep Brahmari breaths into the heart. So keep the hands over the heart space. Brahmari is inhaling through the nose and making a vibration on the exhale with the mouth closed. Five breaths. First one, inhale. Find the vibration that creates the, the sound that creates the maximum vibration in the heart. The heart softens and opens through love and kindness. Bring that into your practice this evening. Seated side bend with one leg straight. Extend the left leg forwards. <clears throat> Starting with arm overhead. Left hand rests to the inside of the left shin. Flex the foot. Toes point straight up towards the sky. Inhale, reach right arm up. Exhale, reach right arm over the side of the head towards the center of the room. Spread open the fingers of the right hand. Deep inhale, expand ribs. 
Exhale, soften left ear towards left shoulder. And next inhale, flex the left foot. And make sure you're also reaching through the inside edge of the foot. Okay, now fire up quadricep on top of left leg. Press the whole of the left leg down into the floor. Second arm position, chest opener. Point the right arm straight up towards the sky. Keep the left hand where it is. This arm up, 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 up. Spread open the fingers of the right hand. Okay, then move the right arm 20 degrees towards the wall behind you. Okay, flex the left foot again. Press the whole of the left leg down into the floor so you feel this strong foundation through the legs. Next inhale, move ribs away from pelvis, send right arm up and back, opening across the chest. On your exhale, soften left ear towards left shoulder and relax through the neck. Deep feeling breath into heart. A bit higher with the right arm, Rob. That's it. Okay, next inhale, bring the torso up to change legs. Arm overhead on the other side. Aim to keep the right foot flexed and the right quadricep engaged throughout the both arm positions. Inhale, reach left arm up. Exhale, side bend. Flex the right foot, the toes back. To, that's it, yeah, so you feel this engaged. Deep, courageous, feeling, ujjayi breath into heart center. Moving into chest opener, keep the right leg active, the right foot active, left hand, Vertical, then 20 degrees towards the back wall. Inhale, activate left hand, send left arm up and back. Soften right ear towards right shoulder. to lie on your backs, elbow to knee. Clasp hands together at the base of the skull, point elbows up towards the sky, bring your feet up off the floor with knees bent at 90 degrees. Okay, what we are focusing on in abdominals all of this week is uh, slowing down and lengthening the inhale as much as possible. So getting out of the habit of shortening the breath to make the abdominals uh, easier and quicker. 
So really deepen the inhale and slow down the exhale so you can slow down the movement in abdominals. Inhale, curl head and shoulders up. Lower your head down. <laughs> Inhale so that the whole room can hear you breathe. Inhale, curl head and shoulders up. That's it. Hold the breath. Lower back down. Tailbone curls up. Exhale, elbows towards left thigh. Right leg forwards at 45 degrees. Create a strong line of energy through the whole of the right leg and pull belly down. Inhale, slowly, deeply back to center. Hold the breath. Press top rim of sacrum down. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards right thigh. Left leg, send forward. Pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold breath. Lower back down. Tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the left thigh. Right leg forwards at 45 degrees. Get left shoulder blade up off the floor and pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold breath. Top rim of sacrum down. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the right thigh, left leg forwards. Spread the toes of the left foot. So twist the elbows towards that other side, towards the thigh. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Inhale, back to center. Hold breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to the left, right leg forwards. You got it, that's it. Feel it, don't think it. Inhale to center. Hold breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the right thigh, send the left leg forwards. Spread the toes of the left foot, get daylight between the toes and pull lower abdominals down. Inhale, come back to center. Hold breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards left thigh, right leg goes forward. Left shoulder blade up off the floor, soften jaw and pull belly down. Inhale, come back to center. Hold breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the right thigh, left leg goes forward. Pull belly down. Inhale back to center. Hold breath. Lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to the left, right leg forwards. Strong line of energy through the whole of the right leg. Pull belly down. Inhale to center. Hold breath. Lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the right, left leg forwards. Pull belly down. Inhale to center. Exhale, lower head, shoulders, feet to the floor. Place both hands on the heart. Close the eyes. Feeling breaths into the heart. Star spiral pulse, hands to behind the head again, feet up off the floor. Second round of abdominals, similar to elbow to knee, just with a little variation. Inhale, curl head and shoulders up. Feet up off the floor. Hold the breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the left thigh, right leg goes straight up towards the sky. On your next inhale, rotate the whole of the right leg in towards the center and pulse the whole of the right leg up towards the sky three times. One, two, three. Inhale, slowly back to center. Head and shoulders stay up. Hold the breath. Lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards right thigh, left leg up. Inhale into lower back, rotate the whole of the left leg in. Exhale, twist and pulse. One, two, three. 
Inhale to center. Hold breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to left thigh, right leg goes straight up. Inhale into lower back. Exhale, rotate and pulse. One, two, three, yeah. Inhale to center. Hold breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the right thigh, left leg goes up. Deep inhale, rotate left leg in. Exhale, spiral the left leg up three times. One, two, three. Inhale to center, last round. Hold the breath. Top rim of sacrum down, pull tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to left thigh, slowly send right leg up. Deepest inhale yet. Exhale, pulse the leg three times. Inhale, slowly back to center. Hold the breath, lower back down, tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to right thigh, left leg up. Flex the toes towards the shin so you're pressing up through the heel. Deep inhale. Exhale, rotate and pulse. One, two, three. Inhale, come back to center. Lower, head, shoulders, feet, all the way down. Bridge pose. Feet, hip distance apart. Arms by your side with palms facing up. Come on up on your next exhale. Slow the breath down, Rob. In through the nose, out through the nose. Ujjayi breath into the heart. Yoga, bring the feet a little closer together, so hip distance apart. And with a soft jaw and a compassionate breath, soften the edges of the heart. down three stages upper back first middle back lower back and roll over onto your right hand side okay. turbo puppy into turbo dog mm. For turbo puppy, from hands and knees, lower elbows, so they're two inches off the floor. And squeeze elbows, upper arms, towards each other. Okay, so it's the squeezing of the elbows and the upper arms. Hands pressing firmly into the floor, okay? Deep breaths here, feeling that squeeze. You have a choice to stay here in turbo puppy with the knees on the floor or straighten the legs, moving into turbo dog. Elbows bent, that's it, off the floor. So start with the knees down, mm -hmm. elbows closer to the floor. Okay, now squeeze your elbows against my hands, head down.
Okay, so keep that squeeze. Mm -hmm. And then really press hands into the floor as well. Okay, so then curl toes under, keep the elbows where they are and straighten the legs, but keep squeezing your elbows against my hands. That's it, all right. Relax the back of the neck and squeeze. Elbows against my hands. That's it, yes. Okay, stay here for as long as you can breathe and then lower the knees down. If it's just a couple of breaths, that's great. Okay. Yeah. So Turbo Dog is all about this squeezing of, of here. Yeah. Dolphin with leg raises. Okay. Nice thing about doing Turbo Dog before Dolphin is that it fires up all the muscles you need for Dolphin. So this Dolphin should feel pretty awesome. Lower onto elbows. Wrap fingers around the outsides of the biceps and then bring forearms down. Okay, curl toes under. Deep inhale into upper back. Exhale, send ribs, hips skyward, straighten the legs. Yorgos. Forearms parallel, palms pressing down. Yes, that's it. Okay, so lower knees down. Okay, so this is measuring between the elbows. Keep the elbows where they were. Okay, lower knees down. Knees down. Okay, go back, 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 back. Okay. Come up so you can see. Okay, look to you, look here. Okay, so lower down onto elbows. Okay, now measure the distance between the elbows by wrapping fingers around the outsides of the biceps. Okay, watch me. Okay, so to measure the distance, fingers wrap around the outsides of the biceps. Okay, and then palms down, forearms parallel. Okay, now head down. That's it. Curl toes under. Okay. So, so you're pressing the balls of the feet into the floor. That's it. Okay, now straighten the legs. That's it. Okay, great. So bend the knees a little more and send the hips higher. Okay. Yeah, great. Okay. Okay, then deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. Keep both feet on the floor for this. Don't worry about leg raises. But stay, stay back where you were. That's it. Okay. Then lower knees down. All the way. You got it. That was dolphin. Good. All right. Coming up to standing. Uh, sun salutations. Exhale, hands to heart, press center. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Lunge, inhale, left foot back, left knee down, send arms up. Exhale, hands down, to plank. Modified chaturanga, so knees, chest to the floor. Low cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Lunge. Left foot forwards, right knee down. Arms up. Exhale. Hands down, feet together. Fold. Inhale. Slowly come on up. Exhale. Hands to heart, press center. Ground down through feet. Inhale. Reach arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Lunge, inhale, right foot back, right knee down. Reach arms up. Pause here for a few breaths. Okay. Soften hips forwards and down. Next inhale, lift up through the heart.
creating length through the torso by lifting and opening the heart. Hands to the floor, back to plank, through a half salutation, back to downward facing dog. Lunge, right foot forwards, left knee down. Arms up, pause here for a few breaths. Bringing more acceptance, compassion into the breath. Mm. Hands to the floor. Step forwards and fold. Inhale, slowly rise up to standing. Exhale. Hands to heart, press center. Mm. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. High lunge this time. Inhale, step the, what foot are we on? Left foot back. Keep the back knee lifted. Lift the arms. Pausing here for a few breaths. Lengthen left sit bone and tailbone down. Rub straight in that back leg. Yes, that's it. The heel a little bit more that way. That's it. Yeah. Next exhale, hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Through modified chaturanga, knees, chest to the floor. Low cobra, inhale with tailbone lengthening back and tops of the feet pressing into the floor. Downward facing dog, exhale. Other side, left foot forwards, back knee stays lifted. High lunge. Notice how your body and especially the heart space responds energetically when you choose to breathe with love, acceptance and compassion. to the floor step forwards and fold relaxing the neck inhale slowly come on up to standing exhale hands to heart press center B series with three pose vignettes inhale to chair feel your feet in chair okay, then spread open the fingers and shoulders down away from the ears. Okay. And deep breath into heart in chair. So even though the legs are fired up, so feel for breathing into heart space. Maybe even this feeling of drawing energy up through the legs, through the abdomen, into the heart.
exhale forward fold inhale scoop chest forwards to a flat back place hands to the floor and step back to plank lower through modified chaturanga knees chest to the floor low cobra inhale downward facing dog exhale arrow lunge inhale step the left foot forwards between the hands okay this is an early arrow lunge so choose the variation that's going to feel good for you in your practice today if that means staying in stage one then revel in that okay so for stage one hands either side of the front foot top of the back foot pressing into the floor back leg straight for stage one the chest is lifting but the torso is lengthening forwards feel for squeezing sit bones together stage two lift the heart hands resting lightly on the front thigh Back knee stays lifted, pressing top foot firmly into the floor. Stage three, arms up, three breaths here. lounge lunge grab hold of the outside of your left knee with your left hand left thigh goes along the outside edge left forearm goes along the outside edge of your left thigh right hand underneath right shoulder and then move it forwards about 10 inches from here soften right hip towards the floor and let right shoulder come up towards the ear so the hip softens towards the floor and right ribs are softening in towards right armpit. Hug your left knee more in towards the side of the body so it, it's less like twisting like un underneath like that it's more keeping the, the knee hugged in here and then th this hip is going straight down rather than twisting under lunge fold the mat over from the side so you have some padding underneath the back knee then both knees bent at 90 degrees okay. inhale reach right arm up exhale twist right elbow to outside of left thigh Soften the neck, right ear towards right shoulder. Deep breaths into heart. Hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Then lower all the way down to the floor. Clasp hands together at the lower back. Squeeze the palms together. 
Next, inhale, lift your legs, your chest, your chin up off the floor and reach back through the arms so the shoulders go back. And lower chin more towards the chest so you lengthen back of neck. Strong lines of energy through both legs. Deep inhale into heart to float up a little higher. Next, exhale, lower down. Hands underneath the shoulders, push back, downward facing dog. Our lunge on the other side. Inhale, step the right foot forwards between the hands. Lower the back knee down. Stage one, <coughs> top of the back foot, pressing into the floor, straight in the back leg, both hands either side of the front foot. Deepen the breath, feel the energy start to build in the thigh and hip flexor. You're going for stage two. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Rest hands lightly on front thigh. Okay. Then focus. Stage three. Both arms up, stay strong in the legs. For this one, feel for drawing energy up through the thigh, through the quadricep, through the hip flexor, into the heart. This is fire energy, transformational energy. Hands down. Lounge lunge, right hand wraps around the outside of the knee, right forearm along the outside edge of the thigh. Next exhale, softening left hip towards the floor. Have this foot further forwards. That's it, yeah, okay. Then this hand, yeah, that's it. Okay, then soften this down into my hand. Let this shoulder come up towards the ear, all the way up. Yeah, okay. Is the right foot going on the right front side of the right foot? No, so keep, yeah, the whole of the, the front foot pressing down. Okay. Bring this hand further forward to your this one, we're creating a stretch in the hip flexor here and also along the right side of torso. And soften the neck, head down, head down. Release the chin as well. Twisting lunge. Fold over the mat or pad up the back knee. Inhale, reach left arm up. Mm. Exhale, left elbow to outside of right thigh and twist. down. Step back to downward facing dog. Okay. 
and shuffle your feet back towards the wall for a down dog on the wall. either keeping both feet on the wall or going for leg raises. You know, down dog on the wall or, have we done inversions before? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so coming into down dog. Keep the feet on the floor for now. Keep the, okay, that's okay. Okay, then feet hip height. Yeah, awesome, great, that's it. Okay, feet a little lower, okay, lower, okay, press the feet into the wall, hips towards me, and armpits towards the wall, okay, step down, step down, step down, then knees down, knees down, okay, finishing up in the next couple of breaths. And back to downward facing dog. Warrior one with hands clasped. Inhale, step left foot forwards between the hands. Clasp hands together at the lower back. Straighten the arms. <clears throat> okay. Feel for a deep bend into the front foot, pressing into outside edge of back foot. Okay, then send arms back and down so shoulders go back and you're opening across the chest. Okay, rotate your right hip forwards. That's it. A little bit more of a bend into front knee. Okay. Next inhale, lift the ribs, lift the heart. On the exhale, soften shoulders back and down. Twisting warrior. Let's do this one with the back heel lifted. So come onto the ball of the back foot, back leg straight. Okay. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, twist. Step this foot a little further back. Yours. Okay, and then lift up there. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Then that's it. So then this elbow to the outside of here. Okay. And bring the this torso up a little more. Hands to the floor. Lunge with hands on hips. For this one, uh, lower the back knee down. Hands on hips and softening hips forwards and down towards the front ankle. For this lunge, it is okay for your front knee to come further forwards than the ankle. Okay, and with hands on hips, Press down on the hips to traction the lower back and then lift back ribs and back of the heart up away from your butt. Softening shoulders back, opening the chest, opening the heart. Dennis, 
place your hands on your hips. Yes, elbows back, shoulders back. Okay, press hands down and lift ribs, lift heart. Hands down, step back to plank. Lower all the way down to the floor. Boat with hands clasped, second round. This time just for a breath. Hands clasped together, squeeze the palms. Deep inhale, lift chest, lift legs, lift chin. Exhale, lower down, hands underneath the shoulders. Push back, downward facing dog. Warrior one with hands clasped on the other side. Inhale, step right foot forwards. Clasp hands together. Round the lower back. Okay, so have the back heel to the floor for this one too. Okay, that's it. Back, this heel down. Warrior one, warrior one. Okay, elbows back. That's it. Deepen and slow down your breath into the heart. And how much more compassion, how much more love and acceptance are you willing to breathe into your heart? Twisting warrior. Release the hands. Come onto the ball of the back foot. Inhale, reach left arm up. Exhale, twist, left elbow to outside of right thigh. So start from upright, yours. Step that front foot a little bit further forwards. Okay. Now come onto the ball of the back foot. So lift the lift this up. That's it. So both feet facing facing forwards. So pick this this bit up. Watch me. Yeah. Okay. Now this elbow down here and breathe. You got it. Great. Hands to the floor. Lunge with hands on hips. Mm. Lower back knee down. Soften hips towards the front ankle. Getting as low as you can. Use hands on hips to press down on lower back to create the lift through the ribs and the back of the heart. Press down through front foot down. And lift up through here. your deepest, most courageous breath yet into the heart. Hands to the floor. Step back to downward facing dog. Shuffle back towards the wall. And lower down, set up for a dolphin, for a dolphin on the wall. Everyone done dolphin on the wall with me before? 
Same as down dog on the wall, but starting from a dolphin position with the forearms down. Okay. Yorgas, I'm going to talk you through this. I'll talk both you guys through it. All right. So go back to the wall so the feet are touching the wall. Okay. That's it. All right. So measure the distance between the elbows by wrapping fingers around the outside of the biceps. Okay. And forearms parallel, palms pressing down. And relax the back of the neck. Okay, keep feet on the floor, yogas, and straighten the legs. Keep forearms parallel. That's it. Okay, so feet on the floor and lift the hips. Okay, so for you, come, come a little bit away from the wall. Okay, and then bring the elbows a, bit, a little bit further forwards. Okay, so come up into dolphin like we did at the start of the class. So lift the, straighten the legs and lift the hips. But keep both feet on the floor. Okay. Step down, step, feet down, feet down, feet down, feet down. Okay. So keep both feet on the floor and then just lift the hips. That's it, okay. So then push the armpits, that's it. Come back towards the wall. Yeah, I want you to keep both feet on the floor for now and work with dolphin. Don't worry about putting feet on the wall just yet. Okay, then lower knees down. Yeah. And then once dolphin starts to feel more familiar and more comfortable, then we'll look at going up on the wall. But there's plenty of time for that. That was great. Yeah, we'll get good at dolphin first. Okay, step on down. Push back to downward facing dog. Warrior one with archer arms, one of my favorite poses. Inhale, step left foot forwards between the hands. All right, warrior one. From here, inhale, send right arm skywards. On the exhale, two choices here, either bend at the elbows and clasp hands together at the back of the heart in between the shoulder blades. If that is out of reach for you today, then rest your left hand on top of your right elbow. Okay. Once you have your hand position, press down through both feet. So bending into front knee, outside edge of back foot pressing firmly into the floor. Right hip rotating forward, so hips and torso squared towards the center of the room. For the arms, your upper arm is wrapped around the side of the head with the tricep pointing forwards. From here, lift up through the heart and the armpit rather than the elbow. On the exhale, wrap right shoulder towards the armpit, down away from the ear. So nearly there, bring, yeah, so oh. this, this comes round to the, oh, that's it, oh. yeah, yeah. So this tricep points forward, okay. Bend a little more into the front knee, okay. And this foot can be a little bit wider and maybe a little bit shorter as well. And turn this back foot in a bit more, yeah. Okay, now feel for this rotation of the hips. Lunge, brain cradle. Come onto the ball of the back foot again. High lunge. For this one, clasp hands together at the base of the skull. Okay, you can have a choice here. So you're on the ball of the back foot. So um, there's often a bit of confusion around ball of the foot. The ball of the foot is this part here, just beneath the toes. If at any point I say anything in class that doesn't make sense to you, then please tell me because there's probably someone else in the room who's having the same trouble, okay? So ball of the foot, heel up. <laughs> Clasp hands together at the base of the skull. You can have back knee slightly bent to get more of a tuck of the tailbone. If you're having an open hip flexor day, then back leg can be straight. 
from here. Lift the heart. Bringing a mini back bend into the upper torso. the back of the head into your hands and deep feeling breaths into heart. Using the exhale to soften the edges of the heart. Pigeon with chest up, hands to the floor, left foot across with left knee down. So setting up like you would for pigeon, but just without the forward fold, okay? This one, hands press into the floor in front of the left shin and lift the heart. Shoulders back and down. Close your eyes. One of the beautiful things about a regular yoga practice is when it brings us out of the thinking mind and into the body and we go into the heart, the whispers of the heart start to be heard. And start to trust your heart, trust your intuition, trust your wiser self. facing dog. Other side. Step the right foot forwards for warrior one with archer arms. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So for this side, inhale left arm up. Exhale, either bending at the elbows or resting right hand on top of left elbow. Okay. Get this tricep pointing forwards that way. It's wrapping around as much as you can. Feel your feet. Feel your legs. Then have a little bit of space in between your head and your forearms so they're not pressing up against each other. Lunge, brain cradle. Clasp hands together. This time have the opposite finger on top. Hands around the base of the skull. On the ball of the back foot. Back heel lifted. So you'll go bring this, bring this heel up. So again, both feet, both feet facing forwards. Yeah. And, all right. and bring the elbows a little closer together. Feel your feet. Lengthen left sit bone and tailbone down and then lift back ribs up away from your butt. Breathe as you do this.
pigeon with chest up, hands to the floor. Walk the right foot across. Soften the hips forwards and down. Press the left leg down into the mat and then lift the heart up through the shoulders. Bring this knee a little wider. And then for pigeon, if ever you need a bit of like support under this thigh, then just place a, a block under there. Then hips want to be level. through here okay in through the nose out through the nose step back to plank Lower all the way down. Okay. Cobra push-ups. Hands underneath the shoulders. Tops of the feet press into the floor, so kneecaps are lifting. Tailbone lengthening back. I'm going to do five of these. So inhale. Lift the chest, gently pressing into the floor. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Not so high, Dennis. Exhale, lower down. Okay, so using lower back to lift rather than arm strength. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Two more. Inhale, lift. As you lower down, use the hands to pull the ribs forward. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale, lower down. Okay. Push back to downward facing dog. Okay, lower knees down. Options for back bending. Either um, as many breaths in bridge as you like, staying in bridge as long as you can breathe comfortably and deeply. So, bridge, what we did at the start of class, this one. We're aiming for about 10 to 15 deep breaths in bridge. Wheel. 10 breaths. Forearm balance variation on the wall for those of you who want to do a back bend inversion. This is one to do if your forearm balance and wheel are strong poses for you. If you're still working up to forearm balance or wheel, then do, uh, do bridge on the floor. Okay, so 10 to 15 breaths. Forearm balance variation looks like this. So from here, then hips are on the wall. And then stepping down. Okay, so it's just a little back bend. Choose one of those. So bridge, wheel, forearm balance variation. If anyone is not sure what they're doing or wants an assist, raise your hand. I will come over and help. Two. Well, I have never done a bridge before. Yes, you have. I have. You haven't done wheel before, no, but you've definitely done bridge before. 
Yes, this is bridge. That's wheel. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Right yeah. Okay. So. so hold on to my ankles. Then press down through your feet and just come onto the top of your head first. Okay, you need to like really grab my ankles and then go onto the top of the head first. That's it. Okay, then pause here. All right. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, really grab my ankles and straighten the arms. breath and exhale lower all the way down okay yeah uh, touching yeah pretty close to the wall pretty close to the wall yeah and then hands clasped more open your chest is now. Okay, finishing up in the next couple of breaths, then come to lie down on your back. with a block. Grab your block, place it between the thighs, send legs straight up towards the sky. Okay. Okay, so legs straight up, hands behind the head, head down on the floor for this first breath. Okay, take a deep breath into lower back. Hold the breath. Squeeze the block between the thighs. Exhale, head and shoulders up off the floor. Pull belly down. Keep the legs up. Inhale, slowly lower head and shoulders down. Hold breath. Squeeze block between the thighs. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, head and shoulders up off the floor. Squeeze block a second time and pull belly down. Two more. Inhale, head and shoulders down. Hold breath, squeeze block. Exhale, head and shoulders up off the floor. Pull belly down. Last one, deep inhale, head to the floor. Hold breath, squeeze block between the thighs. Exhale, head and shoulders up off the floor. Pull belly down. Inhale, lower head, shoulders, feet to the floor. Place the block to one side. Spinal twist. Hug the left knee in towards the chest. Okay, keep the right leg straight and send the left knee across the body towards the floor. If your knee doesn't reach the floor, place a block underneath for support.
change sides. Bring the left knee back to the middle. Left leg straight and hug right knee in towards the chest. And right knee towards the floor or a block. Close the eyes. back to the middle. Bring the feet into uh, Baddha Konasana, feet on the floor, knees out wide, soles of the feet pressing together. One round of Uddiyana. Deep inhale into lower back. Exhale all the air out through the mouth. Squeeze all the air out so the lungs are empty. Hold the air out. Then pull belly in towards lower spine and up into bottom ribs. And hold there. When you're ready, release with an inhale. Lie back, get comfortable, Shavasana.
it's time to come back. Deepen your breath. Move fingers, move toes. Hug both knees in towards your chest. And roll over onto your right hand side. Slowly come on up to seated. Bring the hands together in heart press center. We'll finish the practice with three arms. Inhale. center. Together we say Namaste. Namaste.